Hey everyone, my name's Drew and we are here. This is going to be number 10, 11 maybe, I believe, of the uh, AP Academy and we are up against Zombie and they have an incredibly scary team. So honestly, I'm going to say that this is probably my worst matchup all season long, which honestly does say quite a bit for the way that my season's been going, but uh, we will see the Tyranitar, Marshadow, uh, Placephalon, Celesteela, Volcanion, and Latios. Latias. Right off the bat, no Gly score is really, really interesting to me. And uh, let's see, no, no Nine Tails, no Quillfish, no Sceptile. Raichu could have uh, been really problematic for me. Uh, no Licky Licky as well. That's uh, all very, very interesting. So uh, I kind of just went for this matchup and I, I didn't really know what to do at all. So I have double scarf be between my Sogaleo and my Palkia. Um. I do kind of want to lead off. My best lead might honestly just be my Meloetta here, right? So, I think I might just go for it. Um, I do want to go for a super aggressive Palkia lead, but Palkia is pretty darn important. And with a Volcanion potentially in the back, it would make it problematic for me overall. So, I don't know. Meloetta can you turn on most mons he has here. Um, I did not take a screenshot of the team, but... Uh, I'm gonna actually probably just highlight it here on the dock. So, Marshadow, Celesteela, Volcanion, Ty Mega Tyranitar, Latias, and Blacephalon. So, those should be it right there. Um, just I have some notes to work off of. Does lead off with the Marshadow. Now, I, man, I could not imagine... Marshadow wanting to stay in, even though Marshadow really does destroy my team, right? So this is one of the things that made this matchup so atrociously bad for me, right? Marshadow just destroys my team. There's really not much recourse I have against a really good Marshadow set. And what's interesting here, I think, what's going to be interesting here, I think, is that he has to respect my psychic being able to KO. Now, I don't have any special attack investment. I cannot KO this thing. But I think ultimately he does have to respect it a little bit. Um, I he might want to switch out. He might just say heck it and click the close combat here. But he would ha he would obviously have to respect whether or not I want to build this thing defensively or how defensively I do want to build this. Um, whatever wants to come in, I generally have answers for. Um, I generally have coverage for, which actually makes this super awkward because I don't have U-turn, which would make it a lot better for me if I did expect me to switch, but I'm going to fire off a Psychic here. I think no matter whatever wants to come in here, should. Uh, also, I could bluff a Scarf by switching out uh, right away. This thing does come in. Um, I do have Focus Blast on this set. Um, I'm going to... I don't know. I guess I should assess... Whatever I, ha I have in the back. Um, but I really don't feel like I have some any great Tyranitar answers either. So, I'm going to have to try and figure out... Yeah, Focus Blast is not doing enough, no matter what happens. And I could Bluff Scarf, which could honestly be super helpful for the later game. Um... But he also could just try to be set up rocks here. It, it could be potential for my Sogaleo to come in. Sogaleo could potentially come in here. My Sogaleo is scarfed and it could catch him off guard. I don't quite know, huh? This is genuinely really tough. I do just want to click Focus Blast here. But like I said, my Meloetta does have... Um... Oh, my Meloetta already revealed leftovers because of the sand damage, so it doesn't matter no matter what happens. So, and regardless, I don't want to switch in on a crunch, whatever happens, so uh, that's probably never going to be the place. So, what I probably should do, I guess the best play would be to just go into uh, Mammoth Swine here, but then he would have a very easy sell steal a play, which would be unfortunate. I'm going to attempt to land a Focus Blast. I don't know. We're going to see whatever happens here. Does get the Mega Evolution off. Um, if this thing does just go for a Dragon Dance, that would be particularly problematic. Um, I just kind of have to figure it out from there. Goes for a Low Kick. Okay, so definitely probably expected... Okay, there's... That's... Okay. 
Um, honestly, I should have just brought um, Relic Song for the situation and try to collect close combat on the next turn. Now, he could definitely try to crunch now, but he definitely expected my Mammoth Swine to want to come in or something to that effect. I'm not too, too sure. Um, either my Mammoth Swine or my Sogaleo probably does pretty close damage either way. Um, I don't know. I feel... I feel like I can take a hit, and I feel like... Mm, no, okay, never mind. Um, you know, like I said, I don't know. This was such an atrociously bad matchup for me that I feel like there wasn't much that I was ever going to be able to do, so... I don't want to say that I, um... Kind of... Didn't attempt to build, but... I honestly feel like... Whatever attempts I could have made in this um, matchup were just never going to work out for me. So uh, I definitely don't think this is going to be uh, the best. Oh. All right. Um, so I'm, I don't know. Like I said, this thing is scarfed. Um, Volcanion is a definite play for him if he wants to take it. Um... I don't have any switches into that either, so I'm gonna have to deal with that when when, when it comes time to do it. Um, realistically, I should have kept my Meloetta around. Um, I'm gonna get a Sunsteel Strike off. He does have to respect the Flare Blitz, which uh, I don't have on this set, but he does have to respect it. Um, although, I don't know. I guess he's gonna be able to judge based off this damage. Okay, that is, that is almost definitely physically defensive, which uh, is not ideal for what my Sogaleo is trying to do here. Um, it honestly makes me want to try to start it to set up an agility right now with my Vega Vault. Uh, this, uh, I don't know, man. It's going to be really tough. Goes for Lead Seed. I think that's ultimately going to be fine. If I were to just click, uh,. Thunderbolt here, he does have the super obvious Latios play, he has a super obvious, mm. Man, I really could try to bug Z, ex expecting him to want to, uh, go into Latios, like, right away. But regardless, I think agility is a reasonably no drawback play. I packed HP Ice specifically for the, specifically for the... Does withdraw, okay. I would be curious to see if this is the Latias. Uh, no, it's this thing. Okay, so because it's the Tyranitar, I think I'm just gonna Bugsy right the heck away. Um. Yeah. Bug Buzz is doing quite a bit. If this thing is max HP. Um, yeah, even at max HP. It is a heavy, heavy roll in my favor right now. So, I feel like there's nothing else to do but just click Savage Spin out here. Uh, I'm already taking a whole lot of chip damage, but if I... Well, no, okay, so now his counterplay is going to be to bring in the Marsh Shadow and then sh try to Shadow Sneak me. Um, and then through Leech Seed and Sand, uh, that should KO me, even if I... Do you get a hit off, which is, which is fairly unlikely, but, uh, I guess in that situation, I would want to switch out, although I'm not too, too sure about that. Uh, regardless, this is going to be a huge, huge step in order for me to really get any headway in this matchup, and, uh, it does go down. That's a crit. Okay, I don't, all right. Who knows if that's going to end up mattering, but, um, it's at least going to give me a little bit of room to breathe. Uh, and honestly, it's making me really great get, regret giving out my Meloetta because uh, a lot of my other mons could have maybe tried. Um, a lot of his mons interact favorably against my Meloetta. I could have done a decent dent um, against the rest of his team if I saw my Meloetta around, but um, I don't know. It would have been nice to land a Focus Blast, especially on that low kick over prediction. If I would landed two Focus Blasts, then I would have never really had to have taken many hits. Now, this thing could absolutely um, just 
have a Wakan Berry? It does not have a Wakan Berry, but uh, I would have to assume that that is perhaps AV. I'm not on a thousand percent sure about that, but uh, it is surprising to do that little damage. So let me see here. Uh, yeah, I think that's almost definitely AV. Which, okay, does make me feel a little bit better because that means that my Mellow Edit was never really going to 1v1 this thing. At least not easily, so... It makes me feel a little bit better. Uh, yeah, the only way that I'm doing that little damage... Uh, let me... This has to be... Max... With... A boosting... Special Defense Nature and... Yeah, wow, that is bananas. Okay. Um Which means that I can go into um my my Mammoth Swine reasonably freely. He could expect me to want to click rocks here. It would allow in the Celesteela for free, which honestly kind of makes me want to double here. But I don't have the best doubles right now. I don't have the best doubles right now. I'm gonna try to get up South Rocks. It does withdraw. Um, so as of right now, I still am forced to kind of lock myself into Thunderbolt with my Palkia right now. Which isn't the biggest deal in the world, I think. Um just looking at the team. Yeah, Palkia is still going to be doing a very decent amount of damage. But this thing is very... This cell steel is very defensive. I'm trying to think of what I would want to do here. Hmm. Yeah, I think I'm just going to go into Palkia here. I I really am not in a position to give up that much HP on my Palkia, but I think this is just a necessary play that I kind of have to make here. And it's going to force him into somewhat of an awkward position where he has to kind of um decide on what I'm about to do. As the sandstorm, as the sandstorm subsides, which is uh, a very difficult sentence for me to say, but... I'm just going to click Thunderbolt. He could pretty aggressively assume that I want to click uh, Surf or something like that and want to go into Volcanion, but uh, it would be kind of a dubious play right now. Um, his best play against a Thunderbolt would potentially be Latios, although he, I don't think he's in a position to really assume what my um, item would be and that his Latios can 1v1 my Palkia right now, and if I could potentially click Spatial Rend like a heckin' madman, but... There are a lot of different possibilities here. Uh, does withdraw... I believe that's the Volcanion, so we'll sack off the Volcanion, which is, uh, completely fine, I think. Uh, it's not... Yeah, it, I mean, that was more or less a 50-50 that he kind of had to, um, play there a little bit, but I don't think... Um, I think it was very little drawback for him, because, um, he gets to sack it in for... Sack that off for a clean switch into something right now, or... I was going to Water Absorb... My surf. However, this does make surf uh, reasonably free for the rest of the match, except for obviously the Latias, which is going to be a huge, huge problem. Uh, and I think that's why uh, it's being kept in the back for as long as it is right now. But yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Like I said, this was a very, very weird team building exercise for me because, uh, like I said, the matchup was just really bad for me. I kind of built in a really kind of weird way that um, I don't think is. I, it's definitely far from optimal, but um, it was kind of what I felt um, had the best chance of working. Like, not like I definitely don't think that this team is has the best um, chance of working. But um, as far as my team goes and how far as far as the matchup goes, uh, it was pretty atrocious, and I felt like I had to. Um, play a much faster, more offensive game than I would normally do, although 
I don't know, that Meloetta situation is still kind of haunting me a little bit, but, you know, at, at some point, what am I going to do here, right? So, I think, I think there's very little that this Marshadow can do that is going to be able to two KO me, so I should be able to, um, uh, yeah, okay, okay. I'm looking... Okay. It's Life Orb. Okay. I was afraid of Life Orb very much, so... Uh, Life Orb was one of the, the default showdown uh, sets in the damage calc, so... Uh, I did kind of... Um... Build that Marshadow with that Life Orb set in mind a little bit, but... Um... It definitely could have been a number of different... Sets he could have brought. Now... What would he want to switch into here? He has a very easy cell seal of play to make. He sees how defensive I am. He has a, he has a very easy cell seal of play to make. I could go into Palkia, which is a remarkably... It is an incredibly risky play to make. If um I click... If he clicks Spectral, Spectral Thief again, but he sees how little that does, and he sees how... And Air Slash is doing so much damage to him. That it honestly makes me want to make that aggressive play. I think I will. You know what? We're, we're, we're out here, right? We're already not getting 6 would We're already not getting 5 would So, uh, at this point, we're just going to ride this one out. So, uh, would have taken an Air Slash on this thing. And it is a really interesting position to be in against my Palkia. But, uh, hmm. Not bringing in the cell steel is genuinely interesting to me. I like don't get me wrong. I to I completely understand wanting to value the cell steel and thinking that it has a huge huge role for the remainder of the match, but um, it walls Togekiss so well. It confuses me why this would be a better switch in now. Unless he thinks he can set up on me right now. And I'm gonna reveal scarf right now, I guess. Um, I could potentially, I don't know what I want to do here. I think what I should do No, I don't know what I want to do. He's scarfed himself. Okay. Okay. So, uh... I think that's my win con right there. I, th I don't think I have a chance of winning anymore. Um, I think that the best... The best that I can do right now is, um... Bring the differential down. But I don't see another way to really win this one. I don't really see another way to win this one. Celsteela just so aggressively walls me, and I think that's going to be kind of just how the match ends. Uh... Celesteela absolutely walls me here. Maybe I should have locked myself into Zen Headbutt. Maybe um, that would have allowed me to... Maybe that would have allowed me to... Uh, flinch the Celesteela down, but... Um, yeah, there's absolutely no way that I still win this one. What I could consider doing, and uh, don't get me wrong, this is 100% about to give up my only answer to, my only real defensive answer to the, uh, to the Marshadow, but at this point, 
I the only way to win would be to break through. As in, like, um, outspeed the Marsh Shadow and kind of just go for it here. I do have Aura Sphere, which wouldn't be resisted, but it can't flinch. So, at that point, what's the point, right? Uh, alright, well, this is not going to be a really fun way to end this match, but, uh, yeah, especially knowing how defensive the Celestila is, uh, I'm never really going to be able to break it, especially not with the last mons that I have. Also, fun fact, uh, my Swagaleo does not have Flare Blitz, so, uh, I was just going to, like, not mention this publicly, but, um, like I said, Team building for this one uh, was never going to be great, so uh, so um my Sogaleo only has three moves on it. Uh, I meant to add the fourth one. I guess I just didn't when I imported my team, but uh, but I only have a uh, Zen Headbutt Earthquake. And Sunsteel Strike. Which, don't get me wrong. If the Self Steel was down, it could genuinely still win the match. But, uh, the fact that it's not is unfortunate right now. It's pretty darn unfortunate. There's really no real reason to keep this Togekiss around, is there? Yeah, no, everything else speeds it. And it kind of deters... Uh, just raw Draco, but I don't think that matters anymore anyway, because Solgaleo does that anyway. Um, yeah, everything else outspeeds... Outspeeds me. So, I don't think there's a reason to keep this thing around. He clearly did this for the free Beast Boost. Okay, uh... Oh, he ex yeah, he definitely expects me to, to make a hard switch into Solgaleo. Um, never... I don't know, never really had a re maybe, I don't know, maybe a hard switch into, into, Mammoth Swine? Maybe he was expecting the freebie on top of that, but, um, but yeah, this will allow me to go into, this will allow me to go into Sogaleo, and at this point, I can kind of just lock into... I don't think I have any single move to lock into. However, what I can do is I can lock into Zen Headbutt. I can take this thing down. If he if he lets me, right? Um, but now the Cell Steela 100% just wins. I have zero ways of breaking the Cell Steela. Um, but... But... Yeah, I mean, I if I could just break the cell steel, I could I could actually have won this match. I guess my Togekiss set was Air Slash, Air Aura Sphere, Defog, and Roost. Uh, maybe if I had Flamethrower on it, uh, I could get somewhere at some point, sometime. I don't know. Um, yeah, the yeah the Meloetta was super unfortunate. If I had landed two Focus Blasts, uh, would have been a non-issue. If I'd brought pure wet form, it would have been a non-issue, but, um... Yeah, he definitely builds it physically defensively. I would have needed... I would have needed Palkia around, right? So... Palkia was absolutely my win con here. Um, I definitely don't have a way of breaking this thing down. He could be still fearing the Fleer Blitz for some reason, but, um... He definitely shouldn't. There's not, there's not even a real reason to bring in... Yeah, I'm just going to do this until I guess Lychee takes me out. That does more damage than I would have expected. Heavy Slam does go off. Huh. So, no Earthquake, right? Probably, well, we've seen Lychee protect uh, Earth Heavy Slam and probably Toxic would be a potential final move. So... It looks like, I don't know, maybe like two to three flinches. Oh, all right. Maybe more. Maybe not. Um, but yeah, at least he pretty much does it for him, right? Um, he could protect, which which might actually allow in my Mammoth Swine in, right? So, 
If I do just kind of hard read to protect right now, then my Mimicron can come in. And I can try to get a flinch or two. And at that point... I, yeah, I, I mean, I guess I just have to play this to my win con, right? Um, but at this point, I brought it down... To, oh, he does have Earthquake. I did bring it down to a 3-0, to a so I mean, like, what else could I have expected to do right in this situation? Um, I mean, again, if the Cell Steeler goes down, then... Sogaleo probably beats the last two. But... I would need quite... I would need a handful of flinches. I would need probably like two, maybe three consecutive flinches to even like really have a chance. There's the heavy slam. We might take one. We might take one. Oh yeah. Okay. Okay. Cool. 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 And he's not leeching, which is encouraging right now. Uh, it looks like I'm still going to probably need two consecutive flinches. Thankfully, I have a lot of moves that can flinch. He can't really switch out because Marshadow would go down immediately, and uh, so would so would Latios, so Latias. So pretty much, we're stuck in here. I'm gonna try to get maybe like two flinches off, and then Solgaleo can win. But it's just gonna be uh, whatever it's gonna be. There's really no other plays to make. Okay, there's that play. Um, I'm Chopper Beard, by the way. There's no item that can be popped. I don't quite know. Um, oh, he's just left for leftovers. Fair enough, fair enough. So he's going to leftovers every other turn. He's going to protect for the leftovers every other turn, which is just going to make uh, the job of flinching that much harder. But um, we just need to get some flinches, right? <laughs> That's all. That's all. Uh, potentially a crit. Flinch crit. That'd be neat. So uh, that'll. There we go. Okay, okay. There's one. There's one. We're, we'll be we'll be uh, doing something here. So I don't know. Uh, let's see. It looks like we're doing about a quarter, but he can protect between turns, which is probably going to at least add another uh, ice icicle crash hit. Um, so it's pro I'm looking. I'm probably looking at four hits, right? Which means I'm probably. I'm, which means I'm probably looking at three consecutive uh, flinches, right? It's going to be dubious no matter what. Um, I honestly don't even really want to play this out. I'm fine taking the loss. Um, but I do have to play this to my outs, and I do have to uh, at least try a crit flinch would be. Uh, pretty ideal right now, but at this point, it's just going to be a matter of just kind of, again, playing my outs. I'm, I'm playing my moves. I don't really know what else to do here, but uh, there's no point in playing for time or anything like that. Um, and it's just super, super unfortunate that I did let this happen with my Meloetta. My Meloetta, was that a crit? This got the heavy slam off, so the door looks to be a little bit open for a Zen headbutt flinch. Maybe two. And, um, at that point, it doesn't matter anyway, because I don't beat the, if I do click Zen Head, but then I don't beat the, then I don't beat the, then I don't beat the, Latios, Latias. So, I pretty much have to lock into Sunsteel Strike, which does not have a chance to KO, but... This is tough because he can just lead seed, which would pretty much negate everything, right? So as painful as this might be, I might have to lock in a Zen headbutt and play that game against Latios. Latias. I think I think I just yeah, he's gonna protect. It's fine, but I, I, I just kind of have to do this, right? Uh, this thing's just so physically defensive that uh. It's, it's really just impossible for me to break right now. But yeah, no, that Scarf Latias, uh, I guess I should have expected it. By every indication, I should have really expected it. But uh, for whatever reason, I just it didn't in the moment, right? There's your Earthquake. So not even trying to lead Team New, which would be his win con. That would pretty much seal the match right away. But I think he's just trying to uh, end it as quickly as possible, which is totally, totally fair. Um... That's definitely totally fair. He's going to probably protect this turn, which is going to be super unfortunate. But, uh, everyone's just playing to their outs right now. Not going to protect. Crit flinch would be interesting. Not a crit, but no flinch. Okay, that's fair. Um, looks like he's one hit away from getting the KO on me. And if anything, I, I think they're just putting me in range of the Latias, which is 100% fair. It's just, uh, going to be the way that this match is going to end 
I'm so glad it was a bulky boy. Uh, if I did have the Flare Blitz, it wouldn't have mattered anyway because it would have been rough against the Latias. Uh, if the fourth move I had on this thing was knockoff, then that would have been potentially interesting. But ultimately, uh, this is going to be the way um, that this week ends. I did what I could. I think, yeah, the self seal was just really tough. Um, I lost my special daggers. I lost my Meloetta super early for really no reason at all. I lost my Palkia to a very bad, just not seeing the Latias situation for what it was. I thought, if anything, um, a Calm Mind setup Latias would have been uh, interesting against me, but, uh, but I guess not. So that and uh, did I even have any other special tags? I'm not even too sure, but it's funny because Sogaleo could have taken it back in the end. Palkia could have taken it back in the end. It was just a matter of a couple things kind of falling uh, a little bit differently. But with that, that's going to be it for me. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll be back really, really soon with more weeks of the APA Academy. And uh, the PGBL should be starting up really, really soon. But with that, once again, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll be once again out.